Hi viewers, welcome to Zave STV. In this video, Toy Electric is going to show you Tow Mater Towing and Salvage. It is made from the Precision Series and it's a new thing that Mattel never done it a very long time ago. So let's start it up and check it out. So here we have Tow Mater Towing and Salvage. It is made from the Precision Series and the scale is 155 and it is made by Mattel. Now if you don't remember, last year in the June holidays or maybe like after that, I did make a video of Precision Series Mater in the display case. If you haven't, check it out right over there. So now let's take a look at Tow Mater Towing and Salvage which is this right in front of you. As you can see on the front, you have the Cars and the Precision Series logo and the name to indicate the name of Mater's house. Same thing for the top here. There's that red triangle design. And on the front here, which I just showed at the beginning, you get to press the button to test the lights and for himself. It does state that there's the Radio Strings poster inside and if you want to see more of these, buildings with some of them with the radio strings poster you can check it out right over there as well let's move to this side here's how it looks the name and the logo on the back we have info of being an adult collector there is the cars and precision series logo now on the left side here you have the name of this building and you have the description of Mater's house and himself which I will be putting it in the description below. It also mentions that this is an exclusive light up Mater which means that if you want to have a light up Mater you have to buy this building if you want to get him. Alright now I'll be right back with Tow Mater Towing and Salvage all opened up. So here we have Tow Mater Towing and Salvage. Now for the remaining part of this video, there will be 5 sections. First, we'll take a look at the instructions at the poster. Second, we'll assemble the road, sidewalks and the story sets. Third, we'll look at Mater. Number 4, the building. And for number 5, the lights. So now, let's begin. We are here, number 8. Make sure it snaps in, otherwise it will be very loose.
Oh, there is a snack over there. If you may have heard it. Let's hear it again. Here we have Mater. It is a real mirror, but I can't seem to test it. And if you want to light up Mater, press the engine. Let's move on to the building. So here we have Tow Mater, Towing and Salvage. Or it, some people want to say Mater's house. So we have assembled the road, sidewalk and the story set. Now we'll take a look at Mater's uh, place of living here. Tow Mater, Towing and Salvage. There's the license plate. And then you swivel it left and right like how it did in the movie. As you can see, there is the light sensor, like how it was mentioned in the instructions. As you can see, the fences here, it's really different. So it looks like Mater just picked whatever he chose to find and then put it in here. Here is where Mater sleeps. As you can see, the shack also swivels left and right. It may not have happened in the movie, but at least it's a working feature. There's some more oil barrels and then the ghost light lamp like how it was mentioned in Ghost Light Ramon and if you haven't watched for Ghost Light Ramon you can check it out right over there here's the back here is the AC adapter where you like charge your building here in the middle is off left is normal which means on and to the right is light sensor mode what it means is that if you if the room is dark enough, it will light up. Depends on the light sensor that how it sends on the oil barrel. This right here is the connector, which is something to do with the packaging. Just some more looks at the Mater's house of living here before we move into the impound. Alright, let's move into the impound. So as you can see from the top here, it says Radiator Springs Municipal Impound. Here is the light because at night, you can't really see the sign so you got a light to help you. Now this gate here actually does move so you can close it. Like that, it snaps in and then when you want to open it, you can press the button like how Sheriff did in the movie. There it is. Now the impound here is quite small. But you can always have an idea to fit all the cars that were in the movie for the municipal impound. As you can see, the oil barrels, stack of tires, and an oil drum, which kind of reminds me of an exhaust pipe. And like I said, you can use this to recreate scenes from the movie. So now, let's try it with the lights, which is on the back here. Although there are only 4 lights, but I do like it when they flash and they don't like mm, turn on at the same time. So now I'll show you how it looks like when the lights are turned off.
Hope you do enjoy watching this video. As being my subscriber, if you are not, what do you do in your life when you don't have to like this video and instead join the Disney Cars and Planes community? The link to it is in the description below. This community has rules, so please read the rules before you join in the community. I'll see you guys over there, but before that, don't forget to subscribe and also push the bell right down below so that you won't miss out the next video which is some unboxing of these cars even though I don't like to say unboxing like one of these cars like Maddie. bye now boom and thanks for watching